go psycho Too many drunk white hoes Said I won't Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to episode 2 of my Rex to Riches series um, on Gmod. So, this video, I'm just going to build a base, put a printer down, and yeah, make money that way, I guess. So, the raiding turned out to make me almost a million, um, which isn't bad, to be fair. And um, I do apologize about these permanent weapons. There's just nothing I can do about it because obviously, and the job, because obviously I've I've played on this account before and I'm not going to make an entire new account <laughs> for recording a video. You know what I mean? Because um, too much effort. And down here, you can see that I'm already VIP. So I get those perks as well, but that's nothing to do with the printer. The printer's the same for everyone. So I'm actually going to show you guys how to build a base that might actually end up in my be what the that's not how you build a base yeah uh actually really don't like that it's not small pop proof and if he is he's got pop there um what's this but i built this right no what the f i just recognized that prop sticking out from one of my base builds that's what i was like did i build this by a door by door, by door. Excuse me, I'd like to buy that one too. No, oh, no need for that one. By door, too many doors, too many doors. <laughs> Why is there so many doors? Uh, I'd like to buy this one. I won't like to buy that one. The button doesn't work. All right, so how are we gonna build this? Do I want to build it in this area where all the defenses are? To be fair, I could use that and make it. No, I can't. Maybe if I make it at an angle, it will run into that. So they can't make a decision of where they want to go. Nah. Oh, what the? So, do, uh, huh? Oh, whatever. Maybe if I make this into the entrance, have it go around like this. Or have it go around down. And then back on itself and do this. Hmm. Anyway. So, when building bases, you really want to use these props, like these fence props, as the outside shells and the uh, spirally things, I mean the zigzag. Because that's really what's going to allow you to shoot through the props with every single weapon. Uh, you want to put it in the ground and a bit in the wall so that, that there's none of that, you know, weirdness. This is the first prop that I'm going to put down, so I can put my other stuff in. Which are these bigger fences, which is what you see in basically every one of my base builds. And all it is, is just putting these props into place, properly. And obviously all my bases, I test them thoroughly, as in like I bring them onto Elite. They're all built on Elite actually, to be fair. But I build them all on here, use them as my criminal. And me and my friends just base in them for a while, and we just chill in them. Then they get posted to YouTube like the next week. Oh, hello. So yeah, this is literally just making this basically as close as you can with allowing free movement. See, look, you want to just pull this until you can't move into it, which I'm going to leave it there. And now you just got to keep taking this prop and just placing it back on itself. Now you send them back around, you see? You come down, you come back around. Which that's actually could be pulled a little more. You want to remove as much wiggle room from them as possible, so they're forced into a direction. Uh, then we need to push out that way a little. And there we go. And actually, now I don't even need that prop. In fact, I need that prop to go here as well. We'll just grab it from there. Just to sit right there, I'm assuming. That might allow me through. Yeah, it does. And then I would just come here and make sure that that feels that there's no wiggle room, but there is. So I'm going to pull it closer a little. Still is a bit of wiggle room, but not too much. So there we go. And then done. You're done with your first two, and the rest of this is just stacker. You go to stacker, you go to front. Usually I go for 67.5. Uh, that's why I usually find that works for me. And it doesn't this time, so we move up to 69, which, funny number, I know. Um, there we go, that's perfect. That's what works usually, 67.5 or 69. And you just keep going to around 20 props of this. And you just keep going, going, going. And there, that's 20 props. So that's where I'm going to stop. And there you go, you've automatically built up your zigzag. There's your zigzag, it's all there. Right? And what you're going to do is put this onto right. You're going to stack it in. 
you're going to drag this back a little so that it matches the end of that and as you see it's not far off and then you should come with the precision tool not precision the wrong thing pull it that way a little still off okay we'll pull it again see this is this is literally all base builds, building is this is all i do to build the bases obviously more of my some of my bases are more advanced than others and that's generally just because i've had a better idea for the base than the others and that's why they come out looking nicer and you guys are more prone to um following along with that video also by the way i'd like to say thanks for the support on the um episode 10 video that's now at 2 point something k 2.3 i think that's mental and it has 500 likes and in the uh episode 11 i did say thanks as well um that's mental the fact you guys are really following along with my content and actually wanting to view it and liking it is nuts um also if you haven't uh, seen in the episode 10 i'm trying to hit 70 subscribers before august um so if you haven't already which most of you haven't um please subscribe and that will be a big help to me thank you very much an elite lupus is a thing called hex shields which aren't getting removed which are these shields that people can throw down and run around within your base which stop you from shooting them and them from taking damage so what you want to do is spawn in these props these big props and obviously small pots are being removed from elite lupus but i don't know when that is so make sure you push these down just to where it's one cube showing because that will uh, make sure that if they are actually small potted you'll still see them through the prop so they can't just run through your base and underneath all your um thingies although they won't be able to pick lock your fading doors if they do that and because uh they'll be inside of a prop there we go that's the last one in so i am going to push these down a little usually it's 15 never mind that's not what i meant usually it's 15 three times <laughs> roughly 15 three times is usually what i'm doing in all of them um i do actually have a tutorial up right now on how you can download and uh use these bases that i build um however i'm going to be changing that video actually i think it's taken down now because uh, it was severely outdated and i was just testing ed editing on it so it wasn't very the best oh maybe english it wasn't really the best tutorial for you guys and i don't want that obviously and as you can see right now it's only been nine minutes in my recording which obviously you can't see that but it's been nine minutes in my recording you just have to take my word for it and um probably less for you probably like seven minutes for you uh, but and i've already got all of this done so far see bases aren't hard to make at all as long as you know how to do it which is what i do um i know how to do it and it's what i try to do consistently um obviously my uploads are very spaced out i guess they're not very because like on a schedule i just upload whenever i have free bases which isn't a very good way to do it uh, i know that um but it's what works for me at the moment obviously i do need to set up a schedule and get recording on that schedule uh, these outside shell ones need to be non-world glow so it shows you where the outside of the base is and then now we go through world glow on this make sure you have world glow on this and this is going to take take out the zigzag from the inside so all you see is straight down and to them we're just going to put this all over the base you see how annoying this is to run through already and we haven't got any of the doors down any of the shooting nothing it's just really annoying to run through also a quick tip you don't make your base one color it's not allowed don't make your base all black and so that's also not allowed and now we're going to add in the peak things so you just grab a big prop like this make sure it's above ground when you first spawn it in so that when you push it under um they'll all be there stacked you don't have to mess around with the advanced dupe tool that one right there you can just grab a stacker set it to the left and pull it back in on itself just a little just about to there i guess and now i will pull out the advanced dupe tool because i need to um make sure that it's not attached yep put one here and as i said i can't make one go down there so i'm just going to cap this off with another one of these huge props facing this way just line it up so obviously base building as i said isn't hard just extremely time consuming but once you get it down it'll take you about 20 25 minutes per base then if you make that blue with world glow on it 
uh, and that obviously contrasts with black blue and black are a contrast so you make that the newspaper material you go to black you set this to 250 you set this to normal and boom you see that you can see through it they can't it's jet black for them the like hex bubble thing with the red can't even see through it well glow can't see through it i'll show you that now actually so if you use um well glow on your prop uh, where is it there you see how that doesn't show you through but you can still see through this side now what it will look like when someone's running over there is just jet oh my jesus christ you scared me bro oh my god i'm recording a video right now Sorry. you scared the living hell out of me hello hello well, that scared me. I, anyway, the way it will look like when someone's walking through this, they'll just turn this um, black color. So when, when they walk into your shot, you just see a black silhouette of a person. And obviously, they'll walk through it, and all you'll see is black, right? And that completely contrasts with the blue, so it's easily noticeable. Compared to the red, swirly, well glow, that isn't as easily noticeable, right? <laughs> Bit of a weird question. <laughs> Building it in front of him, but he asks, is it mine? I actually don't want to say that's a weird question. People do ask that a lot because people try to buy bases a lot. I sold a base the other day for 30 mil. I know you won't believe that because I don't have 30 mil right now. Uh, yeah, I got rid of it all to do the Rags to Riches series, which oh, was boy. probably the smoke. Hello, bye. Uh, I almost said hello, not bye. I did say hello, not bye, actually. Um, but the Gmods Rex to Riches series, I gave away all my money and all my items in my inventory, so I didn't have anything. The only thing I couldn't get rid of was obviously the perm weapons and the perm jobs, because uh, I bought that with IRL money, and so it's credits. It's not exactly, um, not exactly money in game that I bought that with. Oh my god, missed the button like ten times. So the issue with this is I can't pull this technically, so I'm just going to have to move that out of the way just a little. So I have a thing where it registers my, um, see that? It registers my push and pulls as an undo, so that if I do mess up pulling something, I could just fix it with the click of a button. Okay, that's now in place. Now if we go smack one on the other side, this actually should be pretty simple. Maybe it won't. <laughs> Hold up. Move this out of the way just a little. Should be pretty simple as to do oh god a bit more as i was saying like seven times it should just be pretty simple to the fact where i'm not going to even be able to do it because i ah, know i'm supposed to stick through just a little just see we're about there and if i put it at the back wall like that see this uses the same amount of props as well glow it just stops other people see that was a mistake that i can just press z to undo which i wouldn't have been able to do if i didn't register it as um a prop and there you go. Now if I make sure that's disabled. See that? It uses around the same amount of props as with Wild Glow. It also allows me to stop them from seeing me through using that red shield. So that'll be Wild Glow like that. And as I said, you just grab this newspaper material right here. It's called Paper 01. Grab it and you can put it on these props. Then set these props to black. With uh, Transparency Alpha to zero, uh, 250 sorry, and Normal. And you see what this does? Bang, bang, bang. See that? Now I can see through my base. And the only problem now obviously is reverse the effect of well glow. Oh god, it's so hot in the UK right now. So if I grab this prop to prop block this. Now it forces players to run around the long way. Uh, that's not the material I wanted. I wanted this material. So um, obviously you can no glide out your base whenever you want. That's a risk that you take. Um, there we go, we'll put one there too. So now the base is practically done. I think I have, what? Four for the doors. I have six props left, so if there's anything else I need to add, I'll add it then. So doors, all you have to do is grab these things. That's what I use. What do you mean it's not in the... Oh, I was clicking the wrong thing. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I just spawned that prop and it's not on the whitelist. Alright, so yeah, all you do is you grab this, like that, and find the part of the base that you want to put it at, put it down, rotate it, using your mouse, bang, that's where I want that to go, and we're going to straighten it all the way up, but use our fist gun to fully position it, there we go, and now it's in, now you got material, material of whatever colour you want, bang, bang, I'm actually going to go with the blue, just on normal, so you see through it, because it's, um, 
We have a great base so far. <laughs> Not much color to it. So if you can't tell by all the blue, the next um, video is going to be a blue theme. So there's just going to be all blue bases, these colors. If you want to suggest the color that you want all the bases to be, just let me know and I can um, build some bases to that color. And obviously in game you can change the color anyway. It doesn't matter. You can grab the color tool and just make sure you right click to save the colors preset. As in like um, if it has world glow or if it has an effect. Um, you can put that straight on with it and just change the color using this. And just click the prop and it will change the color to whatever you want it to be. I also want to thank whoever's uh, downloading these bases and using them on Olympus for their exact purpose. Um, because it, it's a happy feeling when I see my bases being used. And then the people when I talk to them, they um, ask if I can do a base for them. Which again guys, if you want a base for you, uh, made personally for you, you can join my Discord. There's a uh, channel where you can request bases. And that's where I do base build videos. I mean, not base build videos, base requests. Um, so we'll run through the base one last time. Put the last door in, and then this base will be done. And we'll just set up all the fading doors, the defense door, and we're going to base it. Probably going to get raided a terrible amount, because we're in industrial. And, you know, everyone comes here when they think of bases. Which is also why most of my bases are... Act that's the lie, most of my bases are made in the sewers. I don't know why but most of my bases are in the sewers, they just are. There is no real reason for it, they're just in the sewers. Make sure that's no collider, otherwise we're not going to fit for it, are we? No, we will fit for it. So. What the? Alright, cool. Base done. Now you want to go through it. Go through here. That's kind of an airlock type looking thing. Now we'll add KOS. All the reasons you need for Elite Lupus really is inside slash raiding. Done. If they walk inside of my base, they get killed. If they raid my base, they get killed. And we just smack this above the door. She will just smack it in like this. So they have to read it before they walk through. Or smack another one right here so they can't say, oh, there's no KOS sign. Because you clearly can see them. Alright, but why is that shut again? That's kind of annoying, you know? When this shuts, I don't like it at all. That's a bit weird. You are green greeted with just jab black. Another thing you can do on a loop is shadow remove, and it brightens up the prop a lot. <laughs> Which does improve the reflections through here. As you can see, it drastically changed the amount you can see. Uh, so we'll change these back ones as well. So that just basically makes it so the contrast is brighter. And as you can see, that is a lot brighter. And you can see through it a lot easier. And this is basically a simple base made for Elite Lupus. Really good, actually, because it's pretty long. Um, and how you advance duplicate things is you come to this tool. Shift and right click at the same time. Set the area copy size to max and right click. Done. Copied. And then you right click here, click save, put in the file name. I'm going to do Indust to Garages or something. Put something that you're going to remember where this is. And all my bases are very descriptive like that, as you can see. <laughs> very descriptive. Um, anyway, let's get a printer down. Where is the printer? There's the printer. Printer rack. Can we even afford? No, we can't afford that. So the first thing we're going to do is god mode on, print, and speed. They're all luxuries that I prefer to have on. I'm going to buy all the way down to that. I'm just going to upgrade the amount it prints and the um, speed it prints at. I don't really care about any of the other stuff right now. I just want to make money from it. That button, click it again. There we go. That print is now making max a minute. We'll just leave it there. Can't buy any of the other upgrades, so it's just going to make money like that. And we're going to go out. I hope we don't get raided. Right, 1k, woo. And 3 XP. Don't forget about that 3 XP. Just, you know. Stand here and look into the base. Oh, we wait for us to get raided. I'll grab the chaos signs and move them inside. Maybe that'll make an actual better look. So I can't really see the base as much. See that? We'll put them inside now. When you're running past, you're not really notice that the thing's there. 
you might if you're paying attention. Let me close this. And this. Now you don't really notice it's there. See? You're smart. I So we do the things that I know make money, rob in the bank. I don't even know if you have to advert bank raid. I'm not gonna do it because I don't think you do. Please don't be a bank manager, please don't be a bank manager, please don't be a bank manager. No bank manager. No thanks. That one's a little better. I'm probably gonna miss it though. Oh, I didn't. Big one. Nice. Oh, and a big one again. Cool. Uh oh. Probably gonna get charged by like loads of angry people in a second. Why is the bag's not coming out? I'm gonna grab three and go. To count my blessings and go. Oh, I'm um, very bad at the grappling hook. There's police behind me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, ah there's a wolf. Front bank is just over here. I should have got all the bags out to be fair because I could have ran back and got some more money from it. Now you just throw the bags in there. It takes a while between each bag throw. I'm going to spam it anyway because I think it goes faster but it really doesn't. 90%. Oh. That's back to 400k. So I've made 38 grand a minute so I should have at least have 68 to 90 grand in it. Or 46 grand. That works. Uh, back out we go. Make sure no one sees us coming in out. Is this base still building? Yeah. Glad he didn't see my base. He's, he's using teleport spells in there. Mystic. Open that. Drop down. Ooh, the grappling hook is such a good thing. Oh, I missed the thing. Grappling hook is such a good thing. Oh, what a base is that? No one's base. Yeah, literally no one's basing anyone. This should just base it somewhere. It is kind of early in the morning, there's not very many people on. Oh, oh he had a glue on gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nigga's ridden. Well, selling your print is a good idea, I guess. Hi. No. You won't arrest me. That's not happening. Oh, he was just saying hi. Doors are still closed. Let's see how much is in our printer. 51 grand. 500k. We now wait and see if anyone raids. Is anyone in there still? Up there, yeah. I should be able to raid that before they see me. He just came out of sewers. He just came out of his base. Hold up. This is a chance. Hold up. No KOS sign, actually. Well, how'd you pull the elevator down then? You have to pick lock it. Oh, that's kind of sneaky. They blocked the button, so you have to pick lock the elevator to go down. Oh, and you have to do some really jank stuff to get up. 
There's a pickpock this door to get in. So many doors are in. Alright, this this base is weird, man. Alright, we got a weird base here. Practically a blackout in my opinion, but uh the floor's a different colour in their defense. I think I'm in. I think it was genuinely that easy. Oh, two hundred K. Malfunction printer. Nice. How the hell did you get in this thing then? Game, you want to explain this to me? Is anyone over? Nope. Where's the other printer then? Where's the is there someone in there? How'd you get in that? Oh, don't know the collide in mid raid, my friend. No no no. Please leave. Hey, actually, Mystic, Mystic, you can help me. Come here, come here, come here. But one of your printers are behind a prop. How do I get to it? One of your printers are behind a prop. I can't get to the printer. No, Mystic, you come. Uh, it's like someone's prop, I don't know. Whatever. I don't care, it's one printer. It probably has over a hundred grand in it to be fair. How am I gonna get oh you removed his props? <gasps> oh we're we're millionaires boys. Two million. Now we leave. And we leave two million richer, basically. Wow, okay. Um Okay. I was going to say, there is a way to pickpocket. Oh, we're out. No, we're not. There's this awkward part as well. Oh, I'm glad I don't have to picklock the floor. <laughs> glad I could just push the... I'm going to have to picklock the floor, aren't I? Yep. Uh... Gotta picklock the floor. Uh, he's probably going to suit up and race me now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we'll defend this raid if we have to. If you like the video, uh, like the video. Um, comment what you want to change about the video. Uh, what you want me to do in the next video. Rouse the riches. And if you want the series to continue, please like. Because it'll tell me you like it. Um, yeah, subscribe and other than that, bye. Unidentified person of interest. I might just go psycho. Too many drunk white hoes said I want